Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Back up, back you up with the information that matters to you Hey yo, check this out man Um, uh, la, 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 la. um hope I don't know when the video's gonna come out, right? This one might come out first, okay? So let me just throw this out here, alright? I'm just gonna throw this out here Uh, we, 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 on the other channel We're gonna be speaking about, um, Chris Rock, okay? That's just one of the final stories But, I'm just letting you know <sighs> Social media has gone crazy about Chris Rock's jokes yesterday, okay? Chris Rock's really re Chris Rock released a Netflix special and he addressed a couple of things. All right? Some one of the things that he addressed is uh Will Smith obviously, okay? And uh, he he called Will Smith a itch. He essentially said Will Smith is a itch with a B because out of all the people that was talking crazy about Will Smith, he decided to smack Chris Rock. What I'm saying is um I mean, you know, like like you just so happened to be there and you said it and you said it in front of everybody. You said it in front of a crowd. That's probably why he slapped you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why he did it. I'm, I'm sorry, Chris Rock. That's probably why it was. Okay. Uh, social media has gone ballistic concerning what happened with Chris Rock. In fact, social media said that one person's Xavier Pope said Chris Rock called Jada Pickett Smith an itch and said Meghan Markle played the race card, punching down on black women clownery. Um, I hate the phrase punching down, so I'm gonna skip over what you said. Uh, another person by the name of Taylor said, LMAO, everyone's talking about Chris Rock's performance and can't get over Jada and Megan Diss proved his point about selective outrage. He tore into everyone. Um, the same person said he tore into everyone, Democrats, Republicans, younger generations to baby boomers, whites and blacks shaking my head. He called white people crackers on national television. Y'all not talking about that though. Okay, I see, I see. Um, so Taylor is essentially saying, folks are trying to say he only focused on Jada and Meghan Markle, okay? But that which which highlights the fact that these people want to try to be angry with him because they say, oh, you only selected Jada and Meghan, and and Taylor saying this is selective outrage because he also dissed Democrats and Republicans and the younger generation, baby boomers, whites and blacks. Y'all only see what he said about Jada. <laughs> Go sit down somewhere, is essentially what Taylor sounds like she's saying. Sharian Sade said, yo, so Chris Rock's weak ad decided to go in on Megan, D Duchess of, of Sus uh, Sussex, and kept up his already 20 years attack of, J uh, of attacking Jada, continuing his cooning trend of attacking black biracial women. Never doubted you for a second, Will. Yeah, uh, Sharon, you must have missed the last comment that I just said. He, uh, the last lady said he spoke about everybody. Now, I started watching the um, comedy thing, but it wasn't very funny, and I, I, I tuned in to get laughs, like to get some laughs. I ain't get no laughs. I thought the comedy special was gonna be about that, so I didn't really stick around. You know what I mean? I started watching like Glass Onion or something like that. Okay. Uh, somebody else said, I'm seeing all these think pieces about what Chris Rock said, but he isn't saying anything new. I love Meghan Markle, but surely uh, she knew that the royal family was racist before she married into that family. And everyone was teasing Will on Twitter about Jada. <laughs> hey, look, look, that's 100 percent true. I, look, I'm not even married to these people. I already knew they was racist right out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as I'm concerned, the people that came over to this land slaughtered the natives. You know what I'm saying? I knew like the whole bloodline, the whole group, the whole like where they came, they're all racist. They they started this kind of slavery that happened over here. So why would you think that you can marry into a family and not be dealing with that? You knew you was dealing with that. Uh, Baby Hippo said, forever on Will Smith's side in this. It's not comedy to target Jada for 20 years, target that couple repeatedly. I know they're annoying, overshare, and have questionable boundaries, but Chris Rock is an insufferable jerk who mocks black women and does minstrel-ish. I remember watching a black hair documentary and how it mocked black women's choices in processing their hair, wearing weaves and wigs while totally ignoring history and relation black women have with their hair in a deeply racist country. And I remember how it made me feel. Black male comedians globally are the only racial group that punched down, oh, she said the punch down i don't want to hear it um no no no. what she did say is real though i can i can see what she's saying about the black hair thing because a lot of black women were made to feel like they were less because of their rocking their natural hair i think maybe the way he went about it was different maybe he would have needed a different type of an intro to basically say yeah i think what chris rock may have been trying to say was y'all don't need to process y'all hair y'all should love the natural hair that y'all have but I don't think a lot of people may have taken it like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, like, when you're sensitive about a situation, somebody be trying to say something helpful, and you take it, you know what I'm saying, like, harmfully. 
Um, and more people are talking about him punching down. Good Lord, I can't stand that phrase. Uh, where we at over here? Um, oh look, this last person by the name of Ty. Ty said, who's Ty? I, I don't know. Ty said, uh, Chris Rock said, quote, you don't fight in front of white people but had no issue calling a black woman a itch in front of white people, negatively commenting on black women's hair in front of white people, or letting white people use the N-word around him. Shaking my head. <laughs> um, <laughs> how about you just don't fight? N never mind this not fighting in front of like white people. Like, Let's try to figure out more constructive ways of working out our differences and our issues, man. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know about. You know what I mean? Like that's just the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm tired of the world that decides they they want to like a us and them mentality, man. The us and them mentality got to quit. It ain't taking. A, it ain't. It ain't getting us to the promised land. In, in case y'all ain't. In case y'all ain't pick it up by now. The us and them mentality ain't getting us to the promised land, man. You know what I'm saying? How long are you gonna create an enemy, whether they're true enemies or not? How long are you gonna keep up the yo, you're my enemy bit? You know what I'm saying? I mean, people just they can't get over it, so therefore we never get ahead. And then they turn around and act like like oh, like everyone else is the problem. No, you're the problem. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, like I'm sorry. As far as last I checked, the Most High created white people. He created black people. He created yellow people. He created red people. You like yellow, red? Hell yeah! He created all kind of color people, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, that's what I thought. I thought the most high, I thought heaven, you know, when I read in Revelation, it say heaven is going to have all nationalities. That's what it says in Revelation. Is it Revelation 9? I don't remember the Revelation. 5, who knows? 9, 12, it's one of them chapters. It says all nationalities, all tribes are going to be up there. Not just black people. Y'all need to get it together, man. I'm sorry. Like somebody needs to be reading their scripture and coming back to the table. Oh, gosh. And my bad. My bad. I, I need to be more patient. My fault. Um, but speaking of which, okay, I did another. There's another on the back of, on the on the main channel. Right. There's a story about Playboy Cardi. It's probably going to come out later on today. Who knows what video's coming out first? All I'm saying is this. Playboy Cardi did his set and a young lady couldn't take the set because she said the joint damn near was demonically inspired. Take a listen real quick. It was sick, like Y'all hear that? That mess behind me that I'm leaving? Oh, something is not right with that. Jesus, in Jesus' name. I'm walking up and down through this Rolling Loud concert, crying and clutching my pearls because that sounds like some mess. I, I can't. Lord God, fix it. That's crazy. I wish, I don't even, I don't even want y'all to hear this. That's how negative and demonic and his soul is looking at me. Yo, I felt what she said, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, check check out the main channel because the main channel, I'm a, I, I, I think I try to cover like, um, nah, I, I, not that I think, I know I covered. You know what I mean? Some of the earmarks of people that are demonically possessed. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's a little bit about what I've been reading. If you really want to know how you can tell a demonically um, possessed people, just look at every single instance in the New Testament of where somebody was demonically possessed and what happened when they came in contact with Jesus or the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts. You see what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and I'm going to just give you this one, okay? When people are demonically influenced or possessed, there is a strong aversion, a strong aversion to God's word, the Bible, right? Or, what else? Um, there's a strong aversion to God's word or prayer. You see what I'm saying? Church, God's people. There's a strong aversion when people are demonically possessed. I'm just throwing that out there. That's one. I gave a couple of others on the main channel. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll hear it. You'll hear it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, may, you may disagree. That's fine. We, we, look, you can disagree. You're free to disagree. You're free to be wrong. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? And yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you mad that you're wrong? <laughs> You like how you know you right, celeb. Hey, hey, look. As far as I, as far as I understand, um, his, history teaches us that uh, Jesus resurrected from the dead, big dog. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I didn't make that up. I'm not like you know what I'm saying. I'm not. I didn't make that up. You know what I mean? I'd like to sleep with as many people as possible. You know what I'm saying? But I can't because I've been told I can by the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let, let, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Because this might be your last time here. Your source for Celeb News.